Okay, friend, are you ready to talk hormones? Hormones are something that a lot of women don't pay attention to. We pass it off as somebody else being irritating, somebody else is being a pain, somebody else is being difficult. When in reality, a lot of times, it could be us. And I remember when we first started this journey together, I told you I was gonna be that friend that called you on your stuff. And friend, <laughs> this is my time to do that. I would like you to take a look at yourself and think through, are you overreacting to things that are little? If you are, there's a couple different reasons. It could be that something has been what we call like a paper cut, consistent paper cut over and over that somebody's doing over and over and over. That can just be irritation. However, if that's not the situation and something happens and you explode, I want you to take a look and go, hmm, are my hormones balanced? Because many women put this off as somebody else is somebody else's fault and think, well, if they hadn't done that or if they weren't doing that, I wouldn't react that way. Well, here at Joyful Mom, we don't do that. We hold each other accountable to say, friend, look at yourself and maybe it is your balance that is off. Maybe your reaction is off. We may find that it wasn't, that it really was somebody else um, triggering something in us, but we are still responsible for our own reactions. And hormones can play a huge part in that. So let's take ownership of our struggle today and look at our hormones. This week we are going to be talking about supplements because supplements can truly, truly help your hormonal balance. Things to look for to find out are your hormones balanced? Well, let's look at it. Things you can look for are you're overreacting to small situations. I'm going to tell you my overreaction story in just a minute. Are you um, having inflammation? Is your immune system compromised? Are you storing extra fat? Are you moody? Are you low in energy? Um, is your body temperature raising? These are all signals to your body that your hormones could be out of whack. So it's just something to take a look at. Now, I am 49, and so I know that I am heading into that phase of life, <laughs> uh, menopause. We'll just name it, claim it, right? Menopause, here it comes. I have noticed lately that my hormones have definitely been out of whack. How do I know? Because I'm overreacting. Let me tell you my story. You ready? Here's where it gets real. The other day, <laughs> I woke up. I went downstairs to grab my tea. You know how I love tea. I go downstairs, walk into the kitchen. I'm ready to put the pot of hot water on, sit quietly before anybody wakes up in the home. And I like to just sit there and do my quiet time with the Lord, journal. I like to set my intentions for the day. What am I going to accomplish? Who do I need to relate with that day? How am I going to step out of my boundaries and, or out of my box and get my comfort zone and do something big that day? Like I like to go through those things, right? I walk into the kitchen and I look and the toaster is out from last night. There are bowls with banana peels in them, bowls with clementine peels in them, some bowl that was just stuck with gunk. My dishwasher is clean, but not unloaded. And there are piles of dishes stacked on my counter. I was not one happy mama. I looked at that and went, are you kidding me? And I exploded. I marched in to every boy's room. I have four boys. I didn't know who had left the mess. I opened each door and said, get up here now and go get the kitchen cleaned. I don't care who it was. And I opened each boy's room and said the same thing. Not, I didn't say it. I, as my child says, yelled. So <laughs> I was not happy. Like, get up there and get it cleaned. And I went upstairs and walked away because I knew if I stayed down there, I would continue yelling. And I chose to step away from that. However, my son came to me later and said, Mom, first of all, he, he did talk to me when he was calm. We've learned to communicate, but we had to step away from each other for a while. He came up and when he was calm said, I need to hear why you exploded like that, because that's not the norm in our house. 
and he was, and he did take responsibility. He said, I understand there were a few dishes that were messy, but that didn't warrant your reaction. So as we talked about it, I realized that part of my reaction, part of my reaction was what we, I think I've said this in here, is it's like a constant paper cut, like, right? I shouldn't have to tell you this time and time again that I don't like to wake up to a dirty kitchen. I just don't. So that's been always important in our lives. So part of it was that, but part of it was my hormonal imbalance. I could tell I reacted in a way that I wouldn't react on a normal day. So what did I do? <laughs> First of all, I took ownership of it. And I encourage you to take ownership of your hormones. If your hormones are raging and you know you're overreacting to things, take responsibility for that and go, okay, now what? Because until we re understand that we do overreact, if we just blame it on someone else, we're not going to figure out how to fix it. So looking at yourself and going, yep, I can see that. I can see that my hormones, hormones are out of, out of balance. Now what am I going to do about it? You see, that's the purposeful. That's the self-responsibility. That's what all of this is about, is taking responsibility for yourself, even if it is an internal thing. Because there are things we can do to help our bodies balance. Okay. So that's what we're going to explore this week. Your challenge today is to look at yourself, to take some time today to go, where am I being triggered? Am I overreacting to certain things? And then go, maybe it is just something I need to figure out how to put correct boundaries on, but maybe it is hormones. And this week we'll talk about, I think, six different supplements that you can use to help balance your hormones. And believe me, I know I've been, as soon as I started realizing this whole menopause thing was going on, I started looking at what can I do outside of my, myself to help support my body during this time, because I don't want to go through this and make it horrible. If I can pour things into my body now that help it to process this, this whole time period, then that's going to help me get through it without yelling at my children right? Because I want to experience joy. Even in the midst of menopause, I want to experience joy and be able to re relate with my teenagers in a positive way. Well, that might mean that I need extra hormonal balance support. All right. So today, um, if you want to comment with what your triggers are, you know, I like to interact with you. So comment below with what triggers you and if you are in a hormonal phase. It could be because of pregnancy. It could be after, um, after birth. Oh, that's a big one of hormonal imbalance. It could be just because you're where I am. Um, or it could be that your hormones just are struggling. So comment below and let me know where you're at and what your triggers are. And tomorrow we will get into two supplements that are super powerful for your hormo hormones. Have a great day.